Hello everyone, this is Jane with Nerdophiles and today I will be unboxing the October 2014 Loot Crate and Nerd Block. I apologize if my voice sounds nasally, I'm just getting over a cold. But without further ado, let's uh, get this started. First off is Nerd Block. This month's Nerd Block had all of its items picked by Kevin Smith. So let's see what goodies he uh, he picked out for us. First out of the box is the t-shirt featuring Jay and Silent Bob with Jay dressed up, dressed up as Robin and Silent Bob dressed up as Batman. Very cool. Up next you have some patient notes from Arkham Asylum. So in this notepad you can uh, take some notes on some mental patients at Arkham Asylum or you know you're just regular daily stuff that you can write down. The Marvel vs DC pin set where you have Spider-Man, Batman, Wolverine, and Superman. Who's going to win? Dun dun dun. Next up you have Captain America trading cards. Uh, these are an exclusive FX prop replica. Um, these obviously belong to Agent Coulson. You have the regular version and then you have the bloodied up version. So it's a very, very nice, nice card set. Next up is a package of Zelda danglers. Don't know which one I got, so let's open it up and see. Oh look, I actually got Zelda herself this time. Not Link. Or where I accidentally foobarred it a couple of videos ago. This is Zelda. Yes, I know. Last out of the box is a Funko Pop Deadpool without the mask. So it's a vinyl bobblehead. Sweet! Last, last thing out of the box is a nice little sticker set of Jay and Silent Bob doing their stuff in Legos, Mario's, some walruses, and Batman, Fatman, whatever. Pretty cool. Nice little stickers. There you have it, folks. The October 2014 nerd block. Overall, very cool block. Um, I liked all the items. Definitely the trading cards and the Funko Pop thing is the best for me. Stop putting the stuff on the box, nerd block. For the love of God, take it out. Up next is the October 2014 Loot Crate. This month's theme is fear, so let's see what they have inside to give us a scare. First off is this lovely box design of a zombie attack and all your weapons handy. So grab your weapon and hack away. First up is the magazine that Loot Crate always includes. This time it's 3D, so you have to wear your 3D glasses to uh, see what's inside. Oops, so nice little zombie um, drawing there. So I always love reading these magazines. It's pretty nifty. First up is a Death by Kitten t-shirt. So you can see all these little kitty cats arranged in a skull because you know they're vicious little bastards. But they're also furry and cuddly and cute, so I don't know. Are they going to hurt you or are they going to cuddle you? Meh. Up next is an awesome looking sledge saw hammer pen. You know, for when zombies are attacking or when you're filling out your checks. So this is an exclusive from Loot Crate and Capcom. So, nice little pen. To open the pen you just give it a yank. Uh, and then you have your pen. Nice. Next out of the box is a book, How to Survive a Sharknado. If you haven't seen that movie on Netflix, watch it right now because it is absolutely hilarious. And also, How to Survive Other Natural Disasters. So, good book to keep in your survival pack or, you know, have a nice little bathroom reader. Next up is a little art print by Jay Salvador, an O Brother from The Walking Dead little like in the the chibi style of art. Next is the Walking Dead comic issue number 132 with an exclusive cover art uh, for Loot Crate of a zombified basketball player. 
just in time for Halloween are some slashes and bites tattoos that you can apply to yourself, saying that you got bitten or slashed by a zombie, vampire, or a werewolf. Next up, uh, Loot Crate teamed up with Smite to get you a gift card so you can play the Smite game. Uh, there it is. I don't know, maybe I'll give the code out. Keep an eye out. Last but certainly not least is the exclusive Loot Crate pin and a Toxic Waste Sour Candy. There you have it, the October 2014 Fear Loot Crate. I uh, I really like the pen and the How to Survive a Sharknado book, so I'll definitely be reading those. Uh, the cat t-shirt's pretty nice too. And that's the end of the unboxing for Nerd Block and Loot Crate. Uh, as for which one is better this month, I don't know. I Again, it's a tie. I like certain items in the Nerd Block and I like certain items in the Loot Crate. Um, I really like the Funko Pop, Deadpool, the trading cards, and the t-shirt of the Nerd Block. And I like the t-shirt, the saw, pen, and the book from Loot Crate. So, again, it's a tie. Uh, if I were to really have to pick one over the other, then I would go with the Nerd Block uh, one. So, yeah. Uh, look towards next month's unboxing. Have a happy Halloween, everyone, and check out nerdophiles.com. Thanks, guys. Bye.